Hello all. Welcome to part 60 of Python tutorial. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate about Lambda function. So let's get started. Lambda function is a function in Python which has no name. It's a nameless function. Lambda function is a nameless function. That's the first thing. Second thing about the Lambda functions is Lambda functions can intake any number of arguments. Okay, that means we can create any number of parameters, one parameter, two parameter, three parameters for this Lambda function because it can intake any number of arguments. And third thing about the Lambda functions is only one expression is allowed in the Lambda functions. Okay, only one expression is allowed. Three things here, guys. First of all, Lambda function is a nameless function, which has no name. Second thing is Lambda function can intake any number of arguments. That means any number of parameters which can receive any number of arguments can be created inside the Lambda functions. And third thing about the Lambda functions is only one expression is allowed to be created in the Lambda functions. Okay. So in order to create this Lambda function in Python syntactically, we have to use a keyword known as Lambda. Okay. Now let me practically demonstrate this for you, how to create the Lambda functions and how to use this uh, keyword Lambda keyword to create the Lambda functions in Python. For that, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have the sample Python file. Here, I'll simply type a keyword known as Lambda. To create a Lambda function, you have to create, use this keyword known as Lambda. And for this, as I mentioned, right, Lambda function doesn't contain any name. So I'm not giving any name. I'm just simply mentioning the keyword Lambda followed by the number of parameters, okay? How many arguments you want to receive? That many number of parameters you have to provide here. For example, I can provide either single parameter here, say Lambda A, or I can provide two parameters, three parameters, four parameters, and so on, guys, okay? But for this example, guys, to get started, I'll provide only two parameters, okay? Lambda function having two parameters, followed by these two parameters, provide a colon, and followed by this colon, perform the operations, okay? Whatever the expression you want to, okay? Right here, for example, I want to add this A and B parameters, okay? Whatever the data that is received to this that two parameters, right? I want to add it up. So I'll say A plus B here. And the result of this expression, here only one expression is allowed. Multiple parameters are allowed, but here only one expression. Here you have to write only one expression. I cannot put a comma here, okay? Other side of the colon, I have to provide. Right side of the colon, I have to provide the expression. The result of this expression, okay? The result of this expression, I can store into a variable, okay? Here, sum is equal to, here sum is a variable, right? So here, lambda function having no name, contain two parameters, A and B, which are separated by comma, and other side of the colon, we have the expression. Using these parameters, I have performed some expression. Okay? The result of this expression, I'm storing into this variable, guys, okay? The return type of this function, let's say, is being stored into this variable. Now, how to call this Lambda function, which doesn't contain any name? That's a problem, right? We successfully created a Lambda function having these two parameters, and we have an expression also, and the result of the expression is being stored into the variable known as sum here in this example. But how to call this lambda function because it doesn't have any name. So to call this lambda function, guys, we have to use this uh, variable. Okay, this sum variable you have to use sum of. Okay, sum of sum of variable name of whatever the data you want to pass into this uh, parameters of this function, nameless function, lambda function that you provide here. I'll say five comma four. Here five will go into a. Okay, and four will go into b. That's it, guys. Okay, so. What will be the return return type? A plus B is the return type, right? That is a five plus four, nine will be returned. But how to get that nine? Simply surround this, this function calling statement, lambda function calling statement with the print statement. Okay, the return type will be automatically printed. And this code guys, the value nine will be printed in the output, as you can see here. Uh, similarly, I can do this expression guys, okay? It's not compulsory that I have to use A plus B here, right? I can say A plus 10 also, okay? So here, even though I'm passing five into A, four into B, here A plus 10 means five plus 10, 15 will be stored in and 15 will be printed in the output, right? Here four is being passed to B, but I'm not using the expression. It's not compulsory that I have to use all the parameters in the expression. You can write your own expression, okay, right? So here I can only provide a single parameter also because I'm not using the other value anyhow. Five will go into A and five plus 10 is 15, right? I can provide multiple parameters, okay? More than two parameters, let's say A, B, C, and D also if required, okay? I'll say A plus B plus C plus D plus, okay, 10. Like this also I can provide. Here I'll pass 
I can pass four parameters, right? Four arguments. So I'll say five comma four comma three comma two. Okay. Here five will go into A, four will go into B, and uh, three will go into C, and two will go into D. A plus B plus C plus D is five plus four nine. Nine plus three is uh, twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. Fourteen plus ten is twenty four. Twenty four will go into sum, and that return type of this okay returned value from this particular lambda function we are printing here using the print statement. Twenty four should be printed in output. Okay. So hope guys you understood how to create lambda functions in Python. Lambda functions in Python are nothing but the nameless functions which doesn't contain any name and they can intake any number of arguments as shown in this example. Any number of arguments can be intaken by this lambda function which doesn't have any name and uh, only one expression is allowed in the lambda function. This side is called as one expression. Okay, there is nothing but the one exp uh, one expression. Okay, so it's all about the lambda functions in Python, guys. Thank you. Bye.